fog, rain, cloud. Welcome to the Arsat's friends. Can you believe that I'm actually taking vitamin D for the locking of sunshine? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Bing. I'm a photo and video maker. In today's video, I want to share 10 facts about the DJI Pocket 2. But before we get started, I want to show you something very quickly. Ta-da! I added another monitor to the studio. I was using only this one, the Lilliput A7S. Yes, it's called A7S. It's a great monitor, the color is accurate, but it's just too small. Sometimes I can't see weird stuff on my hair, something like this. So. I just added this one. The color from it is disgusting, but it's big enough for me to check out any imperfections. And this looks luxurious, doesn't it? And most importantly, yesterday was my birthday and I've got this from my wife as a birthday gift. Yay! The receiver is already on the camera. So right now I can use this Aperture a left mic wirelessly. So it's such a great improvement to the studio. And talking about studio, I've made another video, I'll put it here somewhere. It's about how to pick up gears for your own YouTube studio under $700. Definitely check it out. And let's get back to today's video, the 10 fact about the DJI Pocket 2. Fact number one, the power button is very easy to be triggered accidentally, especially when you try to put it back to the case. You need to push it somewhere around here, and it's always been the power button. You may ask, why not to put it back reverse play? And this leads us to the fact number two. When you want to put it back reverse play, it will shake the head. So obviously the DJI doesn't want you to do that, and I don't understand why. But anyways, you can do it. Look, when you turn it off, it's still on, actually. It's using the power to maintain this position to help you to put it back more easily. And in the meantime, it will detect the direction you put it back. So just wait a second and the power will be cut off completely so that you can do whatever you want. Fact number three, it's not able to do the quick switch between the customer settings because there's no customer preset available. Unlike the Pocket 2, the Osmo Action can do it. It's absolutely lovely to have this feature. I really hope they can unify their menus and uh, interactions for all their products. Fact number four, you can do the vertical shot, but you have to hold it like this. So there's no way to do it like this due to the motor limit. While you're shooting vertically, it won't hold this position all the time as you expect. It will shift left or right sometimes weirdly, but it does the job. Fact number five, Actually, it's a tip. You can attach the ND filter box to the case with an action camera helmet glue pad. It's an original idea from me and I love it. Fact number six. When the ND filter is on the lens, after you turn it off, it won't go to the folding position properly. No. Fact number seven, you can store the most used ND filter to the wide angle lens position here in the case. Very secure. Fact number eight, when you're shooting the motion lapse with the Mimo app and the phone attached, you can set up to four position points. And without the phone, you can set only two of them. Fact number nine, you can't do the inception shots by pulling the joystick like the other big camera gimbals can do, but you can do it like this, turn it by your hand, it will do the same thing. Fact number 10, it has the facial beauty mode, the glamour, but it only works under 1080p at 24, 25 and 30 frames per second, so no facial beauty for 4K. It won't work straight out from the Pocket 2 you have to import the footage into the phone 
and the Mimo app will process the facial beauty for you. Or you use it directly with the Mimo app and the phone attached. And you know what? Actually, I found the fact number 11. The audio from the Pocket 2, it's amazing. It's just simply amazing. It's better than the lovely mic, right? What do you think? Let's do an audio test. This is a sound from the lovely mic. And this is a sound from the Pocket 2. What do you think? Should we call it Effect 11? The audio quality from the Pocket 2 is incredible. Yeah, okay. That's a 10 or 11 fact about the Pocket 2. I hope you found it's been useful. And if you like this video, please give it a thumb up and consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.